In the midst of the George Floyd tragedy, hundreds of surfers in New York's Rockaway came together in their own way to honor his life and to protest against racial injustices. When things happen in the community, you gotta speak up on it. When you're silent, you're violent. That's why I speak my mind too. You don't wanna listen, you have to listen. But 350 people, listen. And they came and it was beautiful. I'm Lou Harris. I'm the East Coast founder of the Black Surf Association, and uh, we provide free surf lessons, free skateboard lessons for the kids of Rockaway. A lot of kids don't have money to save for a board. So that's why I'm glad I get donations, and I get to give them away for free. We'll do surfing on Saturdays from 8 to 10, and then we'll do skateboarding from 11 to 1 Saturdays, and same thing on Sundays. And during the summer, it's every day. I got into surfing because I moved here 15 years ago and I needed an outlet, I needed something to do. I walked up to the boardwalk on Beach 90th Street and I saw people surfing. I was like, whoa, they surf here? I taught myself how to surf and I've been surfing ever since. You know, I, I surf big waves, small waves, hurricane waves. I remember there wasn't too many black surfers. It was just me, maybe a couple other kids. These young, you know, African Americans, they live here and they should know what goes on in their own backyard. You should know the sandbar, you should know the drop-offs, you should know all that. It's good for young kids to get exposed because I want kids to see that the lineup doesn't have to be particularly white all the time, that's what it usually is. It's great to see a black face here and there, a Spanish face here, Asian face here. Lou's mission uses surfing, not only to empower kids in his community, but also as a tool to bring people together. And recently, he did exactly that. Lou organized a paddle out to raise awareness for Black Lives Matter. A paddle out is most of the time when a surfer dies. You paddle out into a circle and you throw flowers into the water and you splash the water. Today was a great paddle out because we got to say all the Black Lives Matter. I thought it was gonna be 100 people. This was over 300 and I'm still in shock. I'm just happy who came, and, and like again, I'm blown away by, you know, white people, they're the ones starting the chant. They're the one, hey, no justice, no peace. It's black people getting killed, but this was predominantly white people, and they're beautiful people, and they're getting sick of it too. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. When people see me, I, you know, they don't see a surfer, they see a black guy. But this is my backyard, and I love it. Today was probably the most successful uh, day of my life being an African-American man. I mean, my little voice started a 300-person movement today.